Hello friends, this is Adam Shoemaker, rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston. Hope that you are well, that you're hanging in there this Wednesday afternoon. I'm here to pray with you using the words of Psalm number 118 as we continue to pray our way through the Psalms here at St. Stephen's. And Psalm number 18 begins towards the bottom of page 760 in the Book of Common Prayer. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. The Lord answered by setting me free. The Lord is at my side, therefore I will not fear. What can anyone do to me? The Lord is at my side to help me. I will triumph over those who hate me. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in flesh. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in rulers. All the ungodly encompass me. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They hem me in. They hem me in on every side. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They swarm about me like bees. They blaze like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. I was pressed so hard that I almost fell, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. There is a sound of exultation and victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you, for you answered me and have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has shined upon us. Form a procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Psalm number 118 a psalm that invites us to ground ourselves in the love and mercy of God. Amid all the challenges that we face, all the reasons to be fearful and overwhelmed, we are invited today in this psalm to remain grounded in the love and mercy of our God and to trust that God will help us to navigate our way through these troubled waters and to help God in our own way to transform this world. As our presiding bishop has often put it, from the nightmare that it can be into the dream that God intends. Hold on, friends, to that faith and that hope.
today, tomorrow, and always. Deacon Greg will be with you tomorrow to pray with you using the words of Psalm number 119. In the meantime, be safe, be well, wear your mask, and you keep the faith.